Hi again everyone, this is Rag Defalsis. I'm the CEO and CTO of ChatGenie. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate on how to create an e-commerce mini-app for your business using our self-service onboarding platform. Since that we're going to install this mini-app on your Facebook page, make sure that the account that you'll be using to create the mini-app has an admin privilege. Enable for us to manage our products, make sure that you have the product list, product image, and the price list. So to start, we just need to go to the URL where we can create the mini app. In this case, it's the chatgenie.ph slash login slash client. Sign in your Facebook account. In this case, I'm using my test account. Once logged in, your you can see the existing mini apps on your dashboard. But since that we're going to create a new mini app, we have to click the create mini app button. From here, we'll see two options. First is to create a mini app using an existing Shopify website or create a what we call native e-commerce mini app. So we're going to choose the latter since that uh, we don't have any existing website for the shop that I'm going to create. Next is you have to select the page where you want to install your mini app. In this case, I already have this Facebook page that I use to um, sell plants uh, to my customers. So here, I just need to click connect. And then here, I have to assign a name for my mini app account. So let's say plant, 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 mini app. Here, I can actually change the greeting. In this case, I, uh, I'll just assign welcome, name, thank you for checking us out, best green deals in town. So this is the greeting that they'll see uh, on the get started page for new customers. And this welcome message is something that they'll see once they tap the get started or once they are done with the opt-in. So here I'll um, have welcome to the plant, plant, plant shop. And then here I can um, change the label for the call to action. I just uh, assign start planting now. And then of course I can assign an admin email so that I'll see all orders on my email. And then um, click next to go to the next process. Here, of course, I have to populate my shop with um, categories. So I'll start with plants. So here, so this is the plant category. Uh, and I'll give it a, a neat description indoor plants click next after that I can uh, add my first product under that category in this case I have this snake plant as my first product so you're basically editing the default product so just erase that and uh put your product on your store
but not venomous. So let's say assign a base price here of 100 pesos. If I have a limited stock, I just need to uncheck this. But since that I have, let's say, limited stocks uh, on hand, uh, I'll just leave it as is. I can also put here variance. For example, if the variance is not color, if it's size, then I just select that. And then from here, I can actually remove it. Say, for example, small. And then medium. Just put it there. And then uh, if I want to add more uh, settings to the product, I can just um, configure it. But if I want to move on to the next process, I just click next. From here, you can uh, configure your cart settings. If you are actually selling nationwide, you can just leave it default. If you're selling in a limited, let's say, geography, let's say within Metro Manila, just click custom. But for the meantime, we'll skip this. Shipping method, you can actually add the shipping uh, options that you offer to your customers here. Let's say next day delivery and then assign a delivery fee of let's say 100 pesos so we have this checkbox here because the usual process nowadays is you allow your customers to book their own shipping um, option click next here we'll select payment options you can um, you can just uh, keep the cash on delivery enabled if you want to the same enable bank deposit you just need to turn it on so we'll just click next and then there you go so in this process your mini app is not yet live you have the option to add more products on your dashboard so we are currently on our dashboard I can add, uh, let's say, a new product here using this product manager here. Like using this uh, button, you can add new products. But I just uh, want to see if my mini app is uh, live. So to launch your mini app, just click this launch button on the uh, main menu. Or the navigation bar so click launch so here agree to the chat genie's terms and condition and then click launch for those who created their mini app already as you can see uh, we can now access the dashboard uh, using your mobile phones this is something that we recently released on our uh, production version of our mini apps so here go to the mini app and then uh, once you click that you'll uh, be redirected to the to the page so there you go so as you can see here uh this uh, about section that you're seeing this is actually the the greeting uh text that we configured earlier and then this gets started once I tap this I should see the welcome message as configured this is the welcome message that we configured when we were creating our mini app we have here the welcome message and then the call to action as configured to have a test order we'll just click the call to action and then uh, our mini app will appear so here I just need to click this let's say order 2 select the variant view cart 
there you go so as i mentioned in other videos this mini app uh, that we're offering to merchants this is this is actually free no upfronted monthly cost we just add this convenience fee of 10 pesos to each of every successful transaction to proceed with the checkout click the go to checkout button and then here you have to provide your information Let's see for example i'm going to use my work email and then provide a, a dummy mobile number select the region city under that region and then street uh, I'll put test street and then barangay you can uh, also of course provide remarks for the merchant like special instructions in case that you have so this is the shipping option that we configured while we are creating the mini app so yeah it's configured 100 pesos you see the order summary for review what's the payment method we uh, the only option that we turn on is cash and delivery and then here you provide the change for how much and then you have the final review of your order once everything checks out place order there you go so here you can also of course share this to your friends in case that uh, you know you want them to see where you are buying your merchandise and then i can see here the order history so yeah it's pending i should expect empty pages here because this is my very first transaction now on the merchant side so let's see let's close that and then to monitor the orders i just need to go to the order tracker page here so yeah everything checks out so if i want to let's say confirm that order just need to click this detail okay this customer seems legit everything checks out confirm order and then here you can also still um you know edit the ship out and uh eta uh data so say additional notes in case that you're working with other staff that manage the store let's say payment or let's say um, customer info valid and then confirm there you go so as a customer you're, you'll see um, a notification every time um, there's an update on your order so when you click that you'll see uh, that the order status is changed to pending to for delivery uh, let's say uh, there's a new order so I'm going to um, I'm going to go to my laptop and uh, use another account to simulate an order so let's see if uh, if uh, if via this order tracker uh, I can see the order in real time So while I pause the video, I actually uh, created an order on this page, on this mini app. I should expect uh, a new entry here. There you go. So there's a new order on my page. There you go. And now, let's say this one. I want to confirm it again. Just click confirm. 
Order confirmed. Confirm order. There you go. So from here, uh, you know, I can, I can proceed by, uh, let's say, if the order is uh, already fulfilled, I can just click mark as completed. Then I can see all the completed orders here. I can even export it. As you can see, uh, I already confirmed two orders. And then on my dashboard, uh, I can see the current uh, accumulated convenience fees that I need to settle to Chat Genie every end of the month. Uh, there are many ways, many options that you can do with your uh, page. You just need to explore it. But for the sake of this demo, uh, we're just demonstrating how to create and uh, order via mini apps. Once again, uh, thanks you uh, thanks for listening and um, make sure to check other videos in this channel.